Hello friends. Hey guys, uh, in this tutorial we are going to implement the AWS Cognito uh, with the uh, Angular 10 and also we will integrate the uh, AWS uh, chatbot uh, or Lex, AWS Lex chatbot with uh, uh, Angular. So here is the demo of our application. Uh, you can see that this is the sign-in page and uh, it's default sign in page from AWS Cognito so I can uh, log in and or I can create account if I don't have so I just put uh, the defaults and we can also customize it I will show you guys and we have the chatbot I will integrate the chatbot with Angular so all of them uh, from the beginning Okay, first of all, we need to install a few of the softwares that uh, are required. I will list them here. Okay, first, uh, you need to have uh, Node.js installed in your uh, computer by going through this link, or if uh, this is the site, you can download if you're on Windows and then uh, install the Node.js. And then you need to install Angular CLI and for installing Angular CLI uh, you can go to this link and then run the following command make sure that uh, you run it after you installed your uh, node.js so then you run this command it will install Angular CLI globally and then we need you need to have an AWS account for creating resources and using the services of AWS. Uh, we will be using AWS Cognito and we will be using AWS Lex and Chatbot and we will be using uh, AWS Amplify CLI. Uh, so then for installing AWS Amplify CLI, you can go to this link and you run the for or you run the following command in your terminal at well in install amplify CLI uh, so first of all uh, after we completed uh, these parts we need to create a new okay uh, now we will open visual studio code and then we create a new angular project so I'm opening visual studio code Okay, in this folder, I will create a new uh, Angular project. So, oh, uh, we open our terminal, and once you install Node.js and then Angular CLI, if you type ng new, uh, it will uh, generate a new Angular project. and it will ask for name of the project it will take a couple of seconds okay so we'll name our project uh, AWS uh, Cognito and and bot with angular okay we are going to implement the uh, aws cognito and aws chatbot uh, with angular and it asks uh, would you like to add the uh, angular routing we say yes and the style sheet i will use is css so it will install a new angular project and uh, okay, uh, our Angular installation is uh, completed. So op I will 
open the, this folder just to make you not confuse so just uh, okay we'll select this folder okay this is our uh, angular project and uh, next uh, we need to install uh, amplify angular ui component so for that uh, we need to run the following command we open the terminal make sure you're in the root of your project so as you can see i'm on the root of the, um, the project uh, npm install at aws amplify ui angular hit enter i'll write the comments once uh, each steps here also for you guys that if you cannot see it on the screen ng new project name Okay, still installing. Okay, Amplify UI, uh, comp Angular UI components uh, installed. Now we uh, run the following command Amplify init. Okay, let me write it here. Amplify uh, init. Okay, here it asks enter a name for the project. We will keep the default, so just click next, enter, enter, and JavaScript, then Angular, and project directory source, and destination, all of them are selected. Select the default, enter, enter, and enter. Okay, now it asks, uh, do you want to use an AWS profile? Yes. Then select the default. Enter. Okay, this initializing the Amplify and our Angular project. Okay, initialization completed successfully and we can see it created a folder here amplify and and so there's a folder backend currently we don't have uh, the api so uh, now we add the following command uh, amplify add out this will add authentication uh, aws cognitive authentication api I will add the common the common here out. Okay, we select the default configuration, and you can uh, I mean if you have manually can create your cognitive application through AWS console, you can set that also, or you can. I use uh, configure the social providers federation but the, I mean for the purpose of this demo because it's a basic uh, and we just go with the default so you can later on change it also and we select just the username no I'm done
Okay, Amplify, uh, I thought the uh, notification uh, has completed. It's asking that we have to push it. So before that, uh, we can push it now, but uh, we can also, uh, we need to install uh, Amplify also. Uh, okay, uh, I'm sorry, I thought uh, it's now completed and install a session configuration. Now we will install the Amplify uh, npm package or library. So uh, npm install it, will simplify. We run the following command. So I will add it here. Uh, While this is an installing, we need to modify some of the files in our Angular project. Okay, the first file we will modify is uh, polyfile.ts. So we will go to the source and polyfile.ts. Yes, uh, we will add the following code in the top. Okay, save this one, and then we need to also modify our main.ts with the following code. Let me open main.ts. We will add the libraries, uh, amplified libraries. We will save this one also. And also we need to uh, modify tsconfig.app.json file. We need to add nodes and types. So we will save this one also. Okay, uh, next we need to import, uh, import the Amplify UI Angular module and Amplify uh, library from uh, in our app module that is. Okay, uh, so we need to add it under here and number imports. Save it. Okay, our Amplify installation is also completed. So we will modify this. Uh, we added the following libraries in our app module. Uh, the next changes we will bring is in our app component.ts. We will update the ports with the following code. So uh, I copied this from the Angular, uh, from the AWS documentation. So I just copy and paste this one. So okay, 
Okay, the next part is we will update our app component class. Uh, with the following code. Okay, we added the library uh, and then we added we create the constant uh, variable here. Uh, so then we we added the following changes in our class. We will save this part also and the next changes we will bring is in our app component.html. Okay, this is the code generated when we created our Angular project. We will remove everything from here. We just uh, add the following codes. So we will save this one also and then in main.ts we need to add one more changes okay we configure on uh, the amplify for the aw spot here you put the name of the but so I put it here mg but now we need to create our chatbot but before that uh, we need to push our project to AWS so the next step is that in our terminal we have to run the following code Amplif uh, following command amplify push Okay, it will ask that do you want to carry the following resources? We say yes. Okay, now uh, our project is pushed to the cloud, so uh, it deployed successfully. Now we go to localhost, we refresh here, we run npm start. Oops, we need to run npm start, sorry. Okay, now our Angular project is uh, compiled and running successfully. Let's come to our browser, uh, refresh. 
what's automatically refreshing. Uh, okay, you can see that our uh, Cognet authentication login is coming and it's working. So if I type, uh, uh, I create an account for Compound Library, name it use of my use as my son name. Uh, okay. Okay, I created the registered an account. I ask for the verification. I will check my email to enter the verification. Okay, now you see that authentication is working. I can log out and I can log in. Okay, now our authentication is working uh, successfully. Uh, let's configure our chatbot. The chatbot layout we already uh, uh, we have already uh, updated the codes for the chatbot and main.ts and also in the app module uh, app components uh, we already uh, added required code uh, for the chatbot so now we need to configure it in the AWS legs for example, if I type here, hey, it says that uh, it's not a try to run uh, AWS Lex, so we need to uh, modify some of uh, the uh, configurations in the AWS. So I will go to my AWS console and then uh, Amazon Lex. First of all, we need to create our bot uh, so you can select from the existing or you can create a custom bot i will create a custom bot i will name it for example uh, let's give it any name i can copy this one which i already entered in our code MG chatbot. Okay, let's give the same name here and then language English US. Uh, you can select the output device, for example, uh, for device control, but uh, let's uh, we will not use it for the time being. We'll choose the defaults here. And we select none and then we select carry it. Okay, uh, then we need to carry it intent. So we can carry it. I will name it. Greetings, for example. Oh, it says that it's already exists. Let's put it greeting. And here I will add uh, return sample. For example, I will type hey. Hello. 
hello Uh, I mean, it's just simple. And then for the response, I will add, for example, hey, is your name and email. How can I help you today? Well, these responses will be selected randomly. So let's save intent. We create another one, for example, uh, order info. Oops, after and false. Now we add, I have issues with my order. I want to know about my order status. Oh. Where is my order? I mean, you can add uh, more of this. I just put these samples. For the response, we could ask uh, Sure, could, could you please provide Order number or oh, what's your order number? Could you provide order number or oh, what's your order number? Order number. Uh, okay. Uh, for the purpose of our demo, just uh, these two samples. Okay, then we select build. Okay, once the build is completed, you can also test uh, your bot here. If I type hey, you can see it uh, response. Hello, how can I help you today? Uh, oh, for example, where is my order? What's your order number? It asks. Okay, I mean, this is how uh, it looks that our bot is working. Uh, we already copied the name of our bot. Again, we copy it here and then we come to the code. Uh, we paste it here. I mean, I, we already did that this part. Now let's come back to our application and try to run our code here. Uh, okay, let's type hi oh uh, one thing we need to add the uh, role for accessing uh, add that our application the role we added uh, should have access to AWS tags 
so what we will do is we get the name of the role it is and then this role j40 I will go to and then you go to AWS sorry will duplicate this my console you can search for I am here We will go to the roles and this is on the role we need to provide access for a uh, legs uh, okay we will select the role and we attach policy we'll search here legs uh, for the purpose of the demo, we'll select the uh, Amazon Flex, uh, Lex Flexes, but you can, uh, it's the best practice that you should uh, provide this privilege for anything, just you need it. I, now I just, uh, it's demo, I provide Flexes. Attach policy. Okay, now our policy is attached to the role. If we come back to our application, refresh. Okay, now if I type hey, oh, you see it, I get response, hey, what's your name and email, okay, if I type name is Mahdi, or you, Sof, Jalal, then it asks, are you, can you please repeat that? Oh, we had, we did not uh, add that part, so. We need to add VRS as my order. And then it asks you please provide your order number. I mean, now our bot is work, uh, working perfectly. And uh, so, for making it much better, you need to add more trends and question response, or you can uh, add for the response and when the user entered then it provides another actions so also you can can uh, you can uh, add the fulfillment to you can call it uh, AWS lambda function or you uh, lambda function currently I don't have in this region so uh, you can trigger different events and then different you can call uh, different resources once you call the lambda function then you can for example call SNS SQS or whatever other services you can uh, call with the AWS lambda function or whatever processes you want to implement through that also you can do it so it looks that uh, we have covered all the basic functionality of implementing AWS Kubernetes and AWS chatbot and Angular. Hope this helped you guys and if you had any questions or uh, comments, please let me know. Thank you.